Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how to verify your website with Bing. And you want to do that so you can see the search queries people put in in Bing and how they landed on your website. And first of all I'm going to show you how to sign up with Bing and then two ways you actually can verify the ownership of your domain. First one is with WordPress plugin called Yoast SEO and second one is just by uploading a XML file to your web hosting. This means this video can apply to you if you use WordPress and also other types of websites. Arnie, what do you think about Bing? What killed Bing? Google! Tip sweat punch. All right, let's start by signing up for Bing Webmaster Tools. And it's easy. You just go to bing.com or Google and type in Webmaster Tools Bing and it will give you this one bing.com webmaster tools and if it's your first time then you need to sign in this is my first time i have a, already a microsoft account we could also use google and stuff like that i'm gonna just use google arnie what would you use Cocaine. and now you're in and what you need to do next is actually add your site there and here you can see that add or import your Google search Google. So you could import, but since we are just doing this like this, you could import it directly from Google search console, but let's just add it so that it's clear what you need to do. And what's important here is to add a URL to your website. So let's take a look. I'm just going to grab it from here like this store monkey WP.com. And also let's add the sitemap directly here. And if you don't have a sitemap, check out the video in the description. I have a video on how to do it. So just add the URL of your sitemap. If you use Yoast SEO plugin already, your sitemap will be in the same place as mine. And if you don't have a sitemap right now, don't worry. This is an optional field for now. You can do it later anyway. Paste it in. You can put something here. If you don't know it, just use it all day or whatever. For me, it's around the evening then the rest just fill in your details and then click on save so once you're done just click save and actually you don't even need to fill in all the fields so next what Bing is asking us to actually verify that this website is ours and it gives you a few options so basically this one is XML file verification we're going to do that in a bit for that, we just place a file on the server and we're done. And for Yoast SEO plugin, we're going to use this meta tag verification. And the last option is CNAME record change. And I find this one the hardest, so we're not going to touch it today. Next, I'm going to show you two ways how to actually verify everything with Bing. First one will be a WordPress plugin. And for the second one, you just need access to your cPanel and file manager. So if you don't want to use a plugin, then just skip to the next section. I'll add the timestamps in the description. Okay, let's make it quick because my horse is getting tired. All right, let's install Yoast SEO plugin, which will help us with Bing verification. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and on the left menu, just go under plugins and then click on new. And then in the search box type Yoast SEO. It's spelled like toast, but with Y and then install it and don't forget to activate it. Then once it's activated, you will have a new menu on the left here. It's called SEO. Just click on the general. We need to go from the dashboard to Webmaster Tools. And here you see that there's a Bing verification code. Let's switch back to Bing. And the easiest one is to actually just grab this code you see content and copy it and then we're going to paste it inside the webmaster tools section in Yoast SEO. So here you have Bing verification code, just paste it in and save changes. Nice. If you have caching plugin, then just clear your cache and then go back to Bing and then click on verify under the meta tag. Verification, verify. Arnie, how's this tutorial so far? 
Only pain. And boom, that's it. You're done. You're not verified. It'll take some days, weeks for you to start seeing data here, especially if you're a new site. You might not see any data here because you don't have any people visiting your site. But in the beginning, anyway, it's really just empty like this. And what you can do later on is go to bing.com and then just type in site and then type in your site name. So do this a few days after you've registered with Bing and then see if it appears. So in my case, I actually, it appears because my domain is quite old. It's been there for a year. So probably Bing has picked it up by itself. But in your case, this might be differently. In addition, at the end of this video, I'll show how it will look like once you have data in Bing Webmaster Tools. So just check out the timestamp in the description and it will take you to the right spot. Well, that hit the spot. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Next, let's verify the site ownership by using this XML file upload. So for this, you only need your file manager from cPanel. I find the XML file the easiest. All you need to do is upload this file to your file manager and it will pick it up there automatically. Oh yeah, and I want to just mention that I'm actually going to use another domain for this part of the video. It's punchsalad.com, so don't get confused if you see another domain. So what I will do is I'll grab this Bing site out.xml, just click on it, you'll download this file, and now you need to go to your cPanel. I'm using host papa, but this will work on any cPanel. And in cPanel, find file manager, and then find where your website is actually living. So the domain you're using, in my case, it's under public HTML, but it could be also somewhere else like this domain is just floating around here. I'm going to use this one. And because this is my only domain on Hostpapa, I'm actually going to use this public HTML. This is where I'm going to place it for punch salad. And then these are when you see WP admin and content and all of these files, this is where you need to place your file. This is like the root folder of your domain. This is where your WordPress is also installed. Arnie, does that make sense? Who the hell are you? So let's just add the file here. Click on upload, select file, and then just select the file, and then go back. And you can see that Bing out is there. So we need to do one thing before I can proceed is I actually have a caching plugin and I need to purge it or clear all the cache because there might be, it might prevent from Bing accessing the new file. All right, since it's now cleared, I can go back to Bing. And then now I just need to click on the under XML file, click on verify. And now you can see there's a new site, doesn't even have a logo yet. In a few days or weeks, you'll start seeing more activity here. If you have already traffic, you'll start seeing some data here. And if this is a completely new domain, then probably you won't have anything here yet. But once you get traffic, you'll start seeing people here and you'll be able to stalk them like this. Okay, just wanted to give you a quick overview how it looks like once it's running, once you have the traffic. So here, this is my main website. You can see there's some stats here when the sitemap was discovered how many euros submitted. So this is pretty much the same as Google. And you can actually see here um, how many times I appeared in the search and things like that. So you can use this as your base for anything to do with Bing. Okay, and let me show you more data. So in the reports and data section, this is like a overview of your data. You can see, you can select clicks from searches, appear, appeared in search, people click once or twice a day, on my website and there's more information here which page gets traffic how many times it appeared in the search and average search appearance uh, position and you have the keywords them themselves 
and the, you can use this data to actually start improving certain pages that are performing well on Bing or certain keywords you want to improve. So uh, it's quite similar to Google. It's just structured a bit differently. So this tool is very useful if you want to improve your search visibility inside the Bing search engine. And this is a place where you can analyze things and then come up with solutions by Googling more stuff, how to actually solve them. My name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!